Everything you need to know about Apple's 8th Gen iPad. Welcome to Global Info. If you are new here don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. Apple's standard iPad is often the go-to tablet for many users, thanks to its classy design, beautiful display, and low cost of entry. According to some rumors, Apple is prepping an update for the entry-level model, adding better performance and a few new features. It wouldn't be out of the ordinary for Apple to introduce a new entry-level iPad, despite the fact that it updated the device in 2019. After all, Apple has actually updated the iPad every year for the past three generations, so it would be stranger if the company didn't update the device. What, exactly, should we expect from the 2020 entry-level iPad? We rounded up all the rumors to get a clearer picture of the 2020 iPad. Design. The 2020 iPad may offer a few design tweaks that make it look a little more modern. According to Apple analyst Ming Kai Kuo, Apple is actually working on two iPad screen sizes, one with a 10.8-inch display, and one with a smaller 8.5 to 9-inch model, which is likely to end up being a new iPad mini. The smaller model may not debut until 2021, but according to Kuo, the larger device is likely to be introduced in the second half of 2020. Considering the fact the current generation iPad offers a 10.2-inch display, and the iPad mini has a 7.9-inch display, it's possible that Apple is aiming to increase the screen size of the device by reducing the bezels, which may give the new iPad models a more iPad Pro-like look. It remains to be seen whether or not that will happen, but if so, it would be good news for those who want a more modern look from their iPad without having to buy the iPad Pro. Performance Perhaps the best thing about the new iPad will be a performance boost. The current generation iPad offers an A10 Fusion chip, which is more than powerful enough for many users, but several years behind what is found in Apple's current iPhones. The new iPad, however, will reportedly include an A12 chip. This will help modernize the device's performance, but it will still leave the iPad a step behind modern iPhone models. While that may seem a disappointment, it would be in step with how Apple has traditionally positioned its entry-level iPad. The rumor comes from anonymous Twitter account Love to Dream, which has noted some Apple products have been delayed over the past few weeks. Apart from a faster chip, the new iPad may have some extra RAM. This would be a logical move for Apple. However, we haven't found any leaks pointing to that just yet. Price and availability. There aren't many rumors about the pricing and availability of the new iPad model, but according to Ming Kai Kuo, Apple will take the same product approach as it has the iPhone SE, which means that it will likely be low cost. The current generation iPad is already low cost, coming in at $330, so we'll have to wait and see if the cost goes even lower, or hovers around the same price. When it comes to availability, if rumors are to be believed, the new device will be launched towards the end of this year. Perhaps it will be announced alongside the iPhone 12, or perhaps it will be saved for a later event, as Apple does often host two events in the fall. Thank you for spending your time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe that you can never miss our more videos.